A lot of you saw this strange sight in the sky and you wanted us to figure out what it was. Well, it's not a line of UFOs or Santa doing a test run. It is a string of satellites. Our David Schumann explains where they came from and why you may see them again very soon. Five, four, three. Spotted in Champlin. Two. We had no idea what it was. In Brooklyn Park. At first, I like kind of did a double take. In Minnetonka and in Stillwater too. Why is it? A string of lights in the sky. Mysterious, no? It was kind of scary because I feel like that's one of those things, you know, we should either hear about or like get a heads up about, like just so people don't have that kind of like panic moment. Coming up with a story about an alien convention leaving Earth. Not aliens, but satellites. Low Earth orbit ones from the company SpaceX, to be exact. They're part of the Starlink network that provides satellite internet service. Go Starlink, go SpaceX. WCCO field crews will sometimes use a Starlink dish to connect to the internet in more remote places. Starlink provides coverage to dozens of countries through its 5,000 satellites in the sky. In Minnesota, a lot of work goes into making internet available in rural areas. So our goal is to get broadband to all Minnesotans. The Minnesota Telecom Alliance says somewhere between 10 to 20 percent of the state still doesn't get high-speed internet. Satellites can help fill in the gaps on more extreme terrains. We know that there will be a play at some point for and a need for, for Starlink to get to some of the people that we can't. David Schumann, WCCO News. If you missed them, an online tracker says Starlink satellites will be visible again near Minneapolis tomorrow and Friday. Check towards the southwest sky just before 6 p.m.